And you know, Groose, that sure was a pain with all that scratching and pecking. Well, duh. You think that Crimson Lobwing was going down without a fight? That bird might be tough, but we're tougher, right, boys? Back up, Groose. You're too close to the camera. All right, massage time over. Whose turn is it to wax my legs? Oh, uh, Groot, we got a little dilemma. Whoa, Link, uh, how long you been standing there? Long enough to wonder why these clowns still hang out with you. Because they know true leadership when they seize it. What's your problem, anyway? You're here to talk about today's race, ain't ya? I can see it in your dopey anime eyes. Oh, Groot, can you p please let me win today? <laughs> Sick impression, boss. Yeah, <laughs> I love you. You're just desperate to get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess after the race. You're not wrong. Well, sorry, pal. Groot doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice? Work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Yeah, that's better than having my hair dyed fire truck red by a colorblind hobo. Hey, you take that back. You know we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. Did I tell you we've been friends since we were kids? Big deal. You may have flawless skin and impeccable taste in fashion, but it don't change the fact that you're ugly. You gotta work on your insults. And just who might you be talking about, Groose? Uh, oh, Zelda! I was, he was, and it were she, and T and ABC. Keep it up, bud. You're nailing it. Move. Yes, ma'am. Listen up, you piece of diseased loftwing excrement. Don't even try it. You're picking on Link again, ain't ya? Zelda, I can- Close your mouth, Link! Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? I suppose, uh, you, uh... I believe you suppose? What the frick frack you supposing about? I, uh, I suppose, uh, uh, well, watch what I can do with my nose. <laughs> I might die from second-hand embarrassment. Pfft, forget about it. I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Forgive him, m'lady. He gets cranky without his afternoon nap. Okay, boys, we better head out. Later, Linkorama. Hope you find your bird that we kidnapped. You just gave us away. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, you won't find your bird boarded up by the caves. Ah, uh, shoot, uh, I'm bad at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to go. All right, jump now, jump now! Hasta la vista, suckers! I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that these blockheads had something to do with your Loftwing's disappearance. No, what gave it away? When he admitted it or when he admitted it? I was being facetious. Cruz couldn't look more guilty if he was holding a bloody steak knife next to a horde of dead bodies. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot Radom, okay? Take your time, I'm kind of hoping they'll race without me. Father said he'd talk to the instructor about delaying the start of the ceremony, so quit being a lazy sack! You're doing this thing even if we've got to attach paper wings to your back. I was joking, mostly. Waste of a man. Watch and learn from a pro, Link! Does no one else think it's insane that we just jump off ledges to our potential doom without question? Before we move on, don't forget to subscribe to Ericsson Gaming if you like what we're doing here and hit that bell button to be notified when the next episode pops up. And while you impatiently wait for the next one, feel free to browse through our other videos. Believe it or not, we've got a lot more Nintendo-based shenanigans besides our If Link Could Talk series. Lots of Smash Bros content, some beautifully cringy skits, deep dives into Nintendo characters, live streams every Wednesday evening, and much more. Anyway, sorry for this spectacularly rude interruption. Let's get back to If Link Could Talk on Disney Channel. LOL, JK, I'd rather die, I mean hi. I mean it. If I see them boys again, they're in for a world of pain, hear me? I'm pulling all their fingernails. Red, you're alive! Yeah, yeah, squawk, squawk, you know what I'm saying? I thought I'd lost you, buddy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Me, it's me, all right. I'm a good boy. This is true. All right, cheap, cheap, snitches. I gotta stretch my wings. Where do you think you're going, you little rascal? Oh, you boys are so silly. Listen, Link, I know I'm free and all, but I can't promise I'll still catch you every time you fall. I'm a busy man. I got kneecaps to bust, trees to peck. We should hurry, Link. Now that Red is free, you should fly to the ceremony. If one more person mentions the ceremony, I'm gonna scream. Sorry, cutie. My head's all in a tizzy. It's just, I have to ask you something. I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It did sound like Red was talking, didn't it? Are we going crazy? Huh? No, you psycho. It's something else. It's the strangest feeling, almost like someone is calling out to me. See the line where the sky meets the sea of clouds? It calls me, and no one knows where, where it, it goes. goes. Yeah, we already sang that song in the Breath of the Wild version. Well, excuse me, elf boy. I wasn't exactly around for that one. I'm serious, though. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say that it's an empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing at all down below, but I have this feeling that they're wrong. Maybe it's an endless ocean of caramel sauce. What's an ocean? I don't know. Also, you say caramel weird. Caramel? 
caramel. It's caramel. 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 That's what I'm saying. Caramel. No. Oh, God. All I'm saying is I think there's a world below there. I just want to see it for myself. Well, when you do, you'll have to let me know how the caramel tastes. Boy, I will strangle you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, shoot. We've been dilly-dallying too long. We got to get going. Your bird's waiting for you. Link. Hi, yeah, sorry. I'm just trying to delay leaping off this thing. You really traumatized me last episode. Yeah, not my proudest moment. Well, we all gotta die someday. Goodbye, cruel world! Always so dramatic. We freaking nailed that, my dudes. Did anyone else not know Loftwings could fart colors? Your right. attention, please. At last we are ready for the wing ceremony. About dang time. Before we start, let's go over the rules. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, you will use your Wiimotes to unsteadily ride your Loftwing in pursuit of the statuette. Whoever catches this bird will be crowned a champion. What's a Wiimote? So basically it's Quidditch and the gold bird is the snitch? Sure, minus the Quaffles, the Bludgers, Keepers, the Hogwarts House Pride. No gold hoops either. Right, and no point system. Okay, so not like Quidditch at all, got it. All right, Hi. gentlemen, line up. At my command, the competition will begin. Don't trip, Link. Don't be alive, Groose. Go! Last one to the ledge is rotten. Hey, wait up! Later, losers. Whoever knocks Link off his bird gets to use my toothbrush. Done and done, boss. No way, Stretch. You got to use it last week. Hope you boys enjoy the extra flavor. I often mistake Groose's toothbrush with the Academy's toilet scrubber. Oops, silly me. He's joking, right, boss? You're dead, Link. I will massacre you in your sleep. Be my guest. Don't worry, Groose. We'll fill his bathtub with snakes later. You idiot! You can't plot revenge right in front of him! Yeah, idiot. Shut up, Stretch! You're the one who glues dead fireflies to the bottom of Groose's bed! You do what?! They bring good luck, I swear! Honestly, I could listen to you guys all day, but I've got a ceremony to win. Hey! Wow, I got the bird statuette! It proves my victory today! Wait till Zelda sees this, lol 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 lol. Yay! This will go perfect with the rest of the pointless junk I stuff in my closet. Link! Huh? Scoot over! Mama's coming! Zelda, for the love of God! Touchdown! I did not appreciate that. Not one bit. Zelda? You good, fam? Ooga booga! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fine. Don't scare me, you know my heart is fragile. Ooh, great flying, Link. Congratulations. Thanks. I really gave Sonic a run for his money, didn't I? Nah, not quite. Yeah, he's the fastest. Don't feel bad, his speed is all he's got going for him now. Anyway, we'd better get on with the ceremony. Link, give me that bird statuette trophy thing. I must offer it to the goddess. Aw, I don't get to keep it. Sorry, bro. It's tradition. Fine. Goddess Hylia, I place this statuette in thy neck that you may rain blessings over Skyloft for a subsequent generation. Thanks, Zelda, but you could give it back to Link if he wants it. Not funny, Link. This is serious. Tee <laughs> Sorry. Hmm? High five? Kneel, peasant. Oh, right. Great goddess, God in light, and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during this ceremony. I suppose it's time, Link, for the next step in the ceremony. What step? Whoa, Zelda, please keep your clothes on. The blessings of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft a sail, which I now pass on to you. So glad I was wrong about the direction this was headed. Yay, I love jumping off things. It'll be nice not to break all my bones for a change. Now, we really should finish up this ritual. It's getting late, and Daddy's making Loftwing burgers tonight. That gold bird has no use after the race, you know? I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. You know what happens at the end of this ritual, right? <clears throat> um, <clears throat> of course I do. I hope you're ready, because... You have to jump off the statue! Oh, gosh, okay. See that big round design on the courtyard below? You gotta drop it like it's hot right into the center. Easy peasy, nothing I haven't done before. As long as you don't push me again, I'm... Hey, have fun! What are you, monster?!